workbench. Today we're taking a look at some possible upgrades uh, to a sliding, or I'm sorry, a compound miter saw for dust collection purposes. So I've been uh, looking at my miter saw and wanting some better dust collection for it. Um, and, and reading through a number of online forums, I'd read a bunch of people recommending or just uh, totally uh, going uh, about how great the Festool Capex miter saw is at dust collection. And so when I looked at the Festool saw, uh, first of all, I can't afford a Festool saw, so I thought I'd go to the next best thing and start looking at what the saw is made of and the parts list. And so in looking at it, I noticed that the Festool saw had a couple, it had one specific part that caught my attention quite a bit, and that was the shoe that goes around the back side of the blade. And so I was able to order this actually online. Or actually, I didn't, it wasn't online. In order to order Festool parts, I had to actually call Festool directly to go get connected with their parts department. And so what I have here is the guard that goes, or not guard, but the, sh the uh, dust collection piece that goes behind uh, the blade. Um, this is known as an apron. And if I put the part down here, you can see this is the apron K for a KS120. Item number 471316. Uh, the gentleman on the phone also recommended the corresponding clamp that goes around with this here. I figured since I had the shipping was going to be the same, I think it was like about $1.35 extra. I also bought the clamp. I'm not sure if this will be useful or not, but I bought it anyway. And so it looks like this would actually just go around the outside here to hold the shoe in place. Probably going to have to adapt this to fit my miter saw, but you can see how this is actually made out of a nice flexible rubber and would then go behind so that then the vacuum action would then suck all the chips and dust uh, through here and hopefully up into the chute. Uh, so we'll take a look at how this would fit onto uh, my miter saw. But first, let's do a couple comparison shots and we'll take some video of it cut in a 2x6. So the miter saw that we're, that we're going to be using for these tests here is a Porter Cable 12 inch miter saw. Uh, in the back, the dust collection is achieved. There's a little small metal uh, piece here. There's actually the laser is up there too. So there's not a lot of big area here behind the blade for being able to catch uh, the chips uh, and the dust. And so here's just a better view of the saw. And I'm going to be cutting a piece of two by six here and you can see the dust. Uh, we'll just be looking at this for a relative measurement. We're going to do this first uh, with no dust collection. And then we'll move on to doing it with dust collection uh, from the factory. And then we'll go to adding the Festool piece. So first, we're going to make a couple cuts here uh, on a 2x6 uh, with no dust collection. And we'll see how that goes. No dust collection. We'll do this one more time. Now we'll turn on the vacuum. I've got the two and a half inch hose there. We'll activate our dust collection and we'll repeat the process. Now, with the saw unplugged from the wall, we're going to take a look at how we can fit the Capex dust collection shoe around to be able to enhance the dust collection. Now, for your individual miter saw, how this works on your saw might be a little different based upon what's back here behind the blade. There's also a laser on here on the saw that comes up here. Um, I've actually never really had good luck with the laser being uh, perfectly aligned. It's just kind of a general guidance is how I kind of treat it. Okay, so on my miter saw here on the side, there's actually a, yeah, a little guard here that runs down the arm where the electrical cable and the power comes down out of the motor to come down and feed the laser. That's, ac that's actually behind here, the saw blade. And the important thing here, there's actually a little screw here that helps to uh, cover this little wire guard here. So I'm going to use that screw. And I'm going to end up taking that screw and putting that through the edge of my 
uh, KPEX guard here out to probably pre-drill a hole in through that and then use that to mechanically connect this on one side and then just to show you a little dry fit here for how I envision this working it'll end up sitting something approximately uh, like this hopefully that's visible here in the camera uh, behind the guard and then when I bring the saw down this should clear that rear fence back there and so this will stay out of the way of the rear fence as well as being able to catch hopefully a few more chips so we'll go ahead and get that screw installed this for right now. I'm just going to leave this here with a little friction fit just like that and now let's uh, we'll plug it back in and then run some tests and then you can see how this performs. Uh, if we like it then we'll come back and drill a hole uh, through the casting here to be able to run a fastener uh, over here to also connect it then we can tap it out and install our screw but for now we're just going to simply uh, give this a quick test. This is connected on one side, so I'm not worried about this catching on anything. And we'll see how that compares. Just so you can see the laser, let me activate the laser here. Maybe you can see the laser line that's coming down. Now it's interesting because I see the laser is actually catching a little bit uh, on the back of the guard there and not coming all the way down on the workpiece until I move the saw a little bit. Then I get the laser casting across the piece. And you can see that laser and the saw blade are actually lining up pretty good here for the left side of the uh, of the cut and so now we're going to make a couple cuts here with the Festool dust shroud on um, and then we'll come back with the shop vac so let's get started Okay, so after a few cuts, I can tell it's definitely not perfect. There's definitely still some dust that's escaping, but I can definitely see a lot of dust being pulled into it. Uh, so I feel like I'm pretty happy with this little quick update here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make this a permanent fixture on my miter saw and turn off the laser here. And we're going to then uh, drill a hole here and add a screw. With the right size drill bit for the screw that I'm going to use, I'm going to sit here and line up the dust shroud here with where I want the screw to go. In this case here, I think I'm going to want the screw to end up right about, oh, maybe there. Check that I'm free of anything on the back side that would possibly catch a saw blade or debris. see we're punched through there. It goes without saying that this will probably void your miter saw's warranty. So if you had a washer that would probably make this be a little bit easier because you wouldn't have the friction of the uh, bolt against the uh, side there. I might come back later and add the washer onto it to fix it but this gets me the uh, Festool shroud uh, on there. So now you can see how this looks on the left side of the saw. And then on the right side of the saw. 
You saw the results. We'll cut it one more time, just so you can see after the modifications that everything uh, is working. We'll turn on the dust collection and make one more cut. <laughs> So I hope you found this useful uh, as an extra little tip for how to improve dust collection on your miter saw. Have a great day. Bye.